the horrific violence here in Juarez and elsewhere in Mexico is directly linked to the United States as traffickers fight for control of smuggling routes to the United States. Anyone standing in the way is a target for murder. To clear the way for drug loads bound for U.S. cities. We too have to look at it seriously in our country. It is our country's number one organized crime threat. A hard-fought war supported by the U.S., but still far from being won. Province, a province, as you suggest, that has become addicted to opium in many, many ways. That is the principal crop that is being grown here. Uh, the Taliban lend the farmers the money. They are indebted to the Taliban. They have to grow the opium. Now the Marines, in their success, are in a sense a victim of their success because now the population is, uh, you know, they have these opium fields and we are tolerating it. We are tolerating oh. the cultivation of the opium because we know that if we were to destroy it now, the population would turn against the Marines and it would be a real security risk. Let me introduce Lieutenant Colonel Brian Christmas. He's the commanding officer of the 3rd Battalion, 6th Marines. Uh, really a, a wonderful group of uh, Marines here. Uh, I know that you care deeply about this, uh, this contradiction, the fact that uh, here you have one of the best fighting forces in the world ever mounted, uh, and in a sense uh, you're watching as uh, this opium is being grown. I know it, it grinds at your gut. Uh, how do you deal with it? What are you doing about it? Well, uh, frankly, this is a part of their culture. So uh, while it might grind in my gut, it, it's what they do. Uh, we, we provide them security, we're providing them resources, and we're providing them alternatives. And the alternatives uh, are different crops to grow. They're getting the seed and the fertilizer to do it. Uh, they, can, they can rotate any of their crops uh, that they want. If they want to get rid of their wheat and grow cotton for the winter, they can do that, and we're going to help them do it. Uh, so the same thing goes for the cotton. My mother told me Before she passed away Said, son, when I'm gone Don't forget to pray Cause there'll be hard times Lord, those hard times Who knows better than found out just what she meant when I had to pawn my clothes just to pay the rent talking about hard times all those hard times who knows better than
Saturday. 